Ah, all right. Ugh, let us try to be human. Since a person is merely a problem-solving system, we could, in principle, build a person out of bits of string and tin cans. I feel like it's going to try and fucking gotcha me. Broadly disagree. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. This one is a little bit of a tr tricky question. Because I don't I feel like if the phrasing was tweaked a little bit, I could probably agree. Because, like, I can imagine, like, you don't really choose what country you're born into, so you don't really consent to that government and those laws um, early in your life. Theoretically, arguably... One could say you consent to the laws like once you've reached majority, but that's ignoring the fact that moving out of a country or moving out even out of a state or a city is a huge financial risk and not is not easy and not simple. Um, but I do think a person needs uh, a good element of self-determination, um, self, um, impetus? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh boy, quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Now we're getting into good old utilitarianism. Boy, is this one fun. This is, uh, this is most commonly known, the ends justify the means. Um, a lot of, a lot of when you get into utilitarianism, like into the weeds of it, a lot of it boils down to where are you drawing the lines of the people who ought to be maximized? Um, and that's where a lot of, that's, that's where a lot of fighting should be. But generally, I do think people's, Lives should be improved throughout the years. Um, I think a broad general upward trend is desirable. Um, I would hope so. Value is discovered. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think value is. Value is something each person independently assigns to something. And this isn't like, when I, when I, when I'm thinking value, I'm not thinking like, this is a $1 apple. Oh no, that's a $2 apple. Like, creative stuff like art is really, really easy to point to. Like, one person can see a painting and it can, it can inspire them. It can, have layers and layers of meaning to them. And then to another person, it's, they don't really vibe with it. It's not there. They don't really like, they don't really like that one. But maybe there's this sculpture that just really calls to them, reminds them of something. So value, I would say, is something each person attributes to the experiences in their life. And ideally, everyone is empowered to share the things that they perceive as being valuable, as having high value, to others, and hopefully spread that out. And through basically that thresher, um, Culture and society can improve, be better, and 
get into a cycle of people inspiring each other to inspire each other. Mm. Persons deserve the talents they were born into. This is a real one. This is a really tough question to chew on. Because they didn't, it's not like you go into a character creation and you're selecting traits. Um, you don't get a choice when you come into existence. You play the deck of cards built um, for you. But like, like, you could be good at something and it's not something you actually like. For, for whatever, for one reason or another. Um, maybe you just have like really good baking skills, but you don't like baking. Um, some might say that by not like leaning into your quote unquote natural talents, you're you're wasting things, but I, nah, I don't like that. And like with any, with most every endeavor, like talent can maybe get you started. Maybe it can give you a slight edge, but hard work, persistence, and determination will prove out much much more often than relying on on being talented because. Your, your passion can wax and wane, but if you have a habit of doing, doing something, it will, it will, it will carry you through, um, when passion runs dry. So I think, I think people, I think people deserve their talents. There's nothing wrong with being good at things. Um, I don't think people should be disparaged for being good at others. I, I I think people should try and take pride and joy at what they can do and try not to tra tie. I think, I think a lot of the problem is more like you see someone doing something you like or you want to do, but they're doing it better than you. And I think that is more of, um, more of a thing that's like hard to sort of chew on. Don't hold yourself to a higher standard. Like, don't compare yourself to another to an extent that it starts impacting yourself. Maybe, maybe, maybe set something as a goal. Put it as like a goal post to aim at to maybe, to maybe light a fire under you. But like, don't put so much of your hopes and expectations on an external factor. Um, because that very easily can lead to negative, um, negative thoughts and negative motivation. The liberty of persons ought to be maximized. Ooh, mmm, ooh, ah, ooh, we got, ah, we got some, we got some liber, liber, libertarians. I, I feel like, I feel like if I go disagree on this question, it's gonna try and gotcha me with some, tyrannical authoritarian question of like people shouldn't be allowed to choose what they do <sighs> presuming a spherical person of uniform density on an infinite plane <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to go with no on this one. And so the reason really I'm going with no on this is because we do, like, even now we have distinctions between, like, like age, age gating. So like people between people who are minors, people who are the age of majority, people who can vote, who can drink, um, who can consent to marriage, etc., like all those things. So like liberty is not a 100 or zero thing. 
Um, it's good for people to be able to do the things that interest them, but there are absolutely boundaries. And there are some people who may not be wholly informed on something, either because they're young and they just don't have the life experiences um, to be able to really make a decision on something. Or it could just be um, people need to have like there needs to be there needs to be a, a you need to be this tall to ride um, kind of gating. So like if it's a if it's a super risky thing that has a very real chance of you dying, you know, hey, you know, make sure you consent to this. Make sure you have your affairs in order, you know, like it's it, it could happen. So like, you know, we're not going to just immediately let you fucking jump out the airplane without a parachute um we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put some fences in your way make sure you check and stamp all the forms that you're okay with this and you have everything in order i would consider that as in a way limiting a person's liberty um and that's why i'm kind of i'm kind of going with like the broadly disagree on this Value is created. Um, no. I kind of, I kind of already, I kind of already did a whole big rant on value, like uh, uh, on one of, on the previous question. Okay. Interesting. I feel like that star thing. has to be back here. But I don't understand. It's like, I'm not seeing... Hold on. Wasn't there an area I was, like, elevated a little bit? There was, like, that recording. And we kind of ran around. No, it wasn't there. I'm pretty... It's over here somewhere. There it is. So we're up here. <sighs> What's up here? Was he looking at something that's completely... over here? No. Am I missing, like, a way... Is there, like, a fake wall? Come on, you can't just put a door in front of me and not let me in? Let me in! Let me in! I want to get in! I hope it's not something like I need to like find a key in another map and then come back here. I don't remember this game having like backtracking stuff. I feel like I'm just kind of a potato. Am I missing? You know what? Let me let me check the hotkeys. Let's see if I'm missing any key buttons. Secondary fire? What? Huh. Oh, hey, that's me. Oh god. I mm, I am I'm I'm not playing a puzzle game in third person. Oh that that just feels surreal. Uh, all right. I don't. I don't know what to do without the door. So let's uh let us press on. Huh. Shwoop. Hmm. 
Yeah, we just got those three, and then supposedly a star. Um, we can't get the camera. All right, so I guess we just got to go to three. Oh, this one has two stars. What the? F what the fuck? Um, you know what? Let's let's do puzzles first. I'll come back to the computer terminal. We already did one recently. I don't I don't want to do another back to back computer terminal. Already done. I already did a I already did a good bit of a bit of talking. I need to rest my thrusty a bit. Tied up. Ooh. Well, uh, we don't, we're not gonna, we're not gonna kink shame here. Ooh, hmm, I see what you mean. Okay, we'll get this one. We'll get that one. Cool beans, good stuff. Good stuff. I got that one. Actually, I bet I need a leapfrog, so let's get this one in. We'll grab both of them inside just in case. Oh, hey! Okay, so the gold stars are actual, actual items. Alright, cool. Okay, so we got a gold star. Okay, so the signpost does not show, like, a gold star is specifically in this puzzle. Um, as far as context to get that star, it seems like I did need to do a little bit extra. So, like, the, the fact that I took the extra time to leapfrog those cameras, so I would have an extra camera for here. So I, I think they are like bonus stars from going the extra mile in solving puzzles. Oh, QR code. Ooh, Faith. I spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand. Until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized that it isn't for me to seek his help. It is for me to help myself. That reminds me of a, uh, of a, of a story of a guy who's, um, huh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Of a guy who's drowning. And then, like, a, a guy comes by on a jet ski, and the guy's like, no, 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 um, I'm gonna be, uh, God will save me, or something like that. And so the guy goes off, and then, like, a helicopter comes by. And he's like, no, 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 God will save me, da, 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 da. And then, uh, and then he dies. And he's like, why, why didn't you save me? He's like, I sent you, I sent you the guy on the jet ski. I sent you the guy in the helicopter. Why didn't, why didn't you go with him? All right. Where the, where the fuck? What the fuck? All right, there's gotta be there's gotta be a second camera s somewhere. Mm, locked door again. I see. I see. Um. What? I have one. How the fuck do I? 
Oh, mm, clever game, clever game. Place it over here, and then I can pick it up, but I'm still past the wall, baby. Ooh. Keys are an item, I see. I see. So there's keys somewhere on that map. Hmm. Okay, so I will almost immediately die. Huh. I wonder if I can run to the piece fast enough. Or if there's another way. Um, let's make sure I haven't missed anything. No? Huh. Okay, so I can go through here, but like... I still only have one camera. Hmm... Hold on a second, was there a... Is there a second camera I can get? Oh, what was the name of this puzzle? An escalating problem. Huh. Oh, there is stairs. No, I think that's just the exit, though, maybe. Huh. Curious. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a run for it. Ah! All right, that didn't work. <laughs> I had to try. Oh wow, it completely reset the puzzle. Well, that's annoying, but okay. Hmm. I wonder if I can jump down and then climb up and get to the puzzle piece. I think I think that's what I'll try next. Oh, what if I do this? I wonder if the bomb will go up and and run into it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I got to I got to re-unlock the door. Shit. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, I'm not, I, I figured it out. Got the keys. Open the door. I need to open this and then quickly switch it over. Then I need to get it out of the way. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. It's 
It's kind of funny how long it takes for them to, like, run into each other and explode. I'm... Hmm. I'm gonna leave this up here for now. Just in case. Maybe I can aim it outside the map at something. Locked me up, swallowed the key. Huh. That's a... I mean, we ain't, we ain't gonna kink shame here. I think I need to go this way first. Yep. Second camera. Do do do. We hit that. Leap frog. Hey yo, there we go. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. I think this is the final puzzle? Stashed for later. Huh. Hmm. Okay, we got some keys. Well, I wonder, do keys persist between levels? So if I go and leave a level, nope, I lose the key. Okay. I was kind of wondering if maybe I could take that key, go back to another level, open the door. But that is a negative. Uh, I was just over here. Where'd the keys go? Oh, I think I need to reset. I think the keys are, like, deleted. Ah! Okay. Kind of crazy that the keys um, don't get reset when they're taken from my inventory. Just, just go on, just go on by. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Just a humble serpent. Ooh. Ah, I thought I could sneak around. Nope. I feel like I can move this. Like, what if I... Nope. They kill me too fast. Alright, alright. Back to, back to, back to getting the keys and doing this normally. Thank you. 
Huzzah! All right, that looks to be all of the puzzles. This looks very climbable, but it's not. All right, cool. All right, let's see what the computer's got for us. Ah, profile's been generated. Let's go ahead and download it. Uh, yeah, let's check our privileges. Due to outstanding notes on your account, and despite displaying many of the characteristics of being a person, you cannot be granted admin status at this time. In the meantime, Please enjoy the basic account functionalities. Hold on a second. User provided an objective response when asked for a subjective one. User provided a particular account of personhood, but was uncomfortable with its implications. User denied moral authority, but defended moral claims. Huh. Interesting. What's my psych profile? You may already be criticizing your own performance, but it's clear you understand the world of ideas affects you, even if you are sometimes weary with the realities and allow your preferences to dictate your beliefs. You have a great deal of unused capacity, which you have not turned to your advantage. Disciplined and self-controlled outside, you tend to be worrisome and secure inside. But you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept others' statements without satisfactory proof. Alright, I'm feeling real fucking called out here. But fine. You currently hold a basic account. Network access is restricted to administrators. Please enjoy the basic functionalities. Alright. Let's send this ticket up to IT. I'm sorry. I wasn't better able to assist you. If you're still encountering a problem, please describe it. Thank you. A support ticket has been generated and appended to your profile. You will receive a notification when a reply has been sent. Alright, so what text files do we have at this terminal? AI feedback. We keep discussing what an artificial intelligence would mean to us, and how it would change our understanding of the world. That's a great topic, and I think we've covered it extensively. What we've barely mentioned, though, is the other side of that coin. I mean, our lives will still be what they were before, AI or no AI. The question I think we should discuss, even if it's all completely hypothetical, is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself. Would it be like, what would it be like to be that creature, to suddenly come into being created by others as an experiment? To have all the information about yourself, to know exactly how you function, what would you think about the world? Would you see meaning, beauty? How would you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should try to put ourselves into the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexandria, thank you for your feedback, but this is a philosophy course, not science fiction. And that's why I almost gave up on my studies. I do think this is a very good question. And fuck the teacher that gave that feedback. Because, like, my, my thoughts is... 
presuming we make a 100% sapient artificial intelligence and, and our AGI, artificial general intelligence, indistinguishable from another person, I would say it is just as human as any of us. Because my, my idea is sort of the seed of humanity is more like that chain of consciousness um, stretching back into unrecorded history. And creating artificial intelligence is merely the, maybe a next step. Next step might be a little far, depending on how the AI is made. But like, not really another species, but like another perspective to experience and observe the world. Um, I would think it's more related to creating a child, but in some ways, a little bit more intentional. <laughs> some ways. <laughs> uh, let's go with team leads. What do we got here? We're blessed to have so many people contributing to this project but we've got to make sure everyone is on the same page. Please refer to the following people when... Fucking... Uh, where's my notepad? Uh, we got 74, 68, 72, 6F. That's a short one. Throw. Please refer to the following people when throw. Huh. That's kind of weird. Alexandra Dren, Project Lead AI Module, South High Institute Coordinator, L Software, L Hardware, Generation Module, Scenario Module, Simulation module, something. Link hardware, link software, maintenance, diagnostics, memory, file system, Talos unit, formerly SOMA. Though not directly part of our project, the archive team is sharing both physical and digital space with us. If there are any technical issues to resolve, please contact their project lead, Arkady Chernevsky? Chernishvesky. Don't worry, he's nice. So, it certainly seems like, so far as we know, these pieces, and obviously with the subjects we've discussed in, in the game so far, they're working on developing an artificial intelligence. Um, this is... <laughs> This is a little bit beyond the fucking AR, AI art learning module neural net shit. Um, so, I mean, and obviously we're robots, so we are artificial. So I wonder, because, like, if we're in, like, digital space, and they say we're sharing digital space, could these people, like, go into... Is this like a Mega Man battle network where people jack in and like are in augmented reality and like working tactically within um, whatever this area is? All right. And the hex is through inaction, allow humanity to come to harm. Hmm. Soma. What does Soma mean? Because we know we know Talos is the Bronze Colossus. Um could be intimated as a an artificial human. I only know Soma from the, the horror series, but the body as distinct from the soul, mind, or psyche. Hmm. 
Interesting. So previously, we had the Soma unit, which is just just a body. Think of it at I'm at, and this is my interpretation as like a blank slate to copy onto. But they switched it to the Talos unit. And I feel that has some other implications. So like if we went from <clears throat> say 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 the Soma unit idea is you clone um and that grow a human being and then you copy over someone's brain. But switching focus to a Talos unit, you are designing an entity that is its own person. It is not a copy. It is, it learns, it thinks, it has developed its own personality based off of the experiences it has encountered. And I wonder, I wonder why they, they switched between these. And I wonder if it was just there a bunch of scientists making a thing or if there's something else. Because someone, there was that previous letter that seemed to intimate like, like doomsday preppers. So we might have like an apocalypse situation going on, um, similar to, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, and let's check this wiki. Stratton of Stagiria, 300 to 250 BC, was a Greek materialist philosopher associated with the Peripetic school. An admirer of Aristotle, he was a proponent of empiricism and a fierce critic of philosophy that placed belief before observable truths. Though unpopular with many of his peers for his often acerbic personal manner, his commentaries on Aristotle were considered an important work. Much of his writing was lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. All right, I'm not too sharp on the philosophical philosophical thought of empiricism. It certainly seems like what I can glean from this snippet is that it it cares a lot about like. I'm holding this apple. It is an apple. Um, it exists because I'm, I'm touching it. It's right here. I can observe it. And it really does not place a lot of value in, um, I believe there is an apple in the other room because I am told that room contains an apple and I trust, um, the person or entity, I trust what they say is true, that that room contains apples. So like relying more on, on unobserved, um, placing more value in trusted entities in their statements than the value of what you can physically observe and interact with. All right, so we got one star. Um, don't know where the other possible star could fucking be. These stars, I'm getting a feeling, are going to be something I probably will need to find an external resource for. Which is annoying, because like I'm not really seeing hints as to where the star could be. Like, it was really easy to find that one. Like, it was like, hey, it's right here. You just need another extra camcorder. Bada bang, bada boom, you gotta stop. This one, no idea where the hell that other star is. I don't, I don't really want to spend too much time taking laps at the moment. Um, this is, I don't think we scanned this QR code though. Um,
No text is coming up, but there's a clock on it. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's twenty four. So this is a twenty four hour clock. Hold on, is that my actual system time? Huh. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, let us move on. Oh, we have, uh, ads coming up. No big deal. Oh, mash that button. Oh, I'm actually, I actually gotta think now. Oh, I see, I see. You have now unlocked camera. Wait, that's not a camera. I wonder. So does that mean like every um major generation is like a child of the previous one? Like, yeah, we're programs. So we're like another iteration. But like we had like version, what is it, version 10 faith, and then, then the version 17, the more nihilistic one or skeptical one. Is the skeptical one like the child of faith? Like the version 10 faith? Or is it just separate entity number 17? All right. Um, I'm going to check to see if unlocking that su spawns something real quick. That's kind of kind of funny because you know programming is a language, so it's typed. We're in a digital world. Oh, we got a we got a Bob. Something strange has come into the world, like a distortion, like something that's not supposed to exist. Beautiful voice speaks within it. That voice is not supposed to be here. It is not the work of the designer. We must avoid these abnormalities. They might spread and undermine the very fabric of our world. Damn, Bob has died a lot. 0736. Dang, Bob. Dang, Bob. All right. I'm not seeing that new item I just unlocked. And now that I'm on the look for it, I'm not seeing a key. Because it's got to be a key somewhere in the overworld. Actually, hold on. I wonder. Did the... There were those recordings. So this was number 23.
Okay. He was looking this way. So what if I go straight over here? On the other side of this area. Like just straight on through. Can I climb this? Oh, oh, nope. Hmm. Why was he looking? Why was that recording looking this way? Is there something over here? Or is it a red herring and it just is nothing? See, there was a second recording, I believe. Hmm. It's gonna it's gonna be real awkward if I find there's like an item keys. Uh and that's I just have to unlock that and then backtrack to here where a key will have now spawned. Alright. We'll uh we'll just we'll just press on. Um, actually, hold on. How many are there? Huh? Why is this blocked off? Hmm. Interesting. We got seven. Okay, so that's what the stars are for. One, two, three, four. So, okay, so this is like total completion. Okay, so this is for like just leaving. I see. We've got a good bit more. Let's do, let's check out, um, yeah. So we did one, two, three. Let's do, let's do four. I think after four, I might take a break and switch to, um, I think I might be rested enough to do Tarkov. I wanted, I wanted something, I don't know. I suppose thanks for bearing with me on something that isn't super action-y and more thinky. But, uh, I have, uh, I was up for 24 hours yesterday and then I crashed and burned, um, early this morning. So my, nope, cannot get down there. My brain is a bit scrumbled and I wanted something nice and something that was a very nice and solvable puzzle <laughs> if that makes sense because I was throwing myself against a wall all alone for a good 12 to 16 hours and that is frustrating and not a fun experience. Especially because like like it's it sucks when a major thing comes in right at close of business. But it's also a situation where like I don't know. It was morally important? I don't feel like the right phrase, but 
that's that's about as close as I can think. Uh oh, oh, it's a bit. <laughs> we just cleared. We just cleared our cash. <laughs> All right, that was that was a bit silly. <laughs> parkour, parkour. Oh, recording. The last couple led me to fucking nowhere. Hmm, I see. Okay. Let's do these puzzles. Push it further. Push it real good. Bam 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 Ooh, ooh, mm, hey, we found the star. We found the star. We just need to get a little bit of red all the way over there. What if I do this? All right, that doesn't work. Ooh, we have a QR code. Name or soul. Ooh, hold on. 99.116. I thought we were in version 99. Maybe we're like version 99.999. Which I don't know what that means. I have traveled to the edge of the known world. Though it seems to stretch on forever, our domain is much less than we imagined. I see, I see. What do we got? Alright, can't go through fences. Okay, we can pass the laser safely. Alright, so this one only has blue. But... We need red. Somehow. Interesting. So I'm going to put this here. Ooh, oh. I knew it! I knew it! Aiming stuff outside the map is going to be important. All right, all right, I got it. All right. So we need to find a red laser and point it to this monument. All right, then we can go get that. We can go get that. Uh, that the uh, the uh, dang old dang old dang old uh, bonus star. All right. Looks like this one has blue lasers again. So. Nothing crazy. Okay, no big deal. Showing you can connect it to multiple things. Gotcha, gotcha. Roger, Dodger. I do like the lasers not hurting me. That's cool. I love that. <gasps> red laser, red laser, red laser. Alright. Lasers cancel each other out. Um. I don't have a fucking angle on it. Hold on. Where is it? Where'd it go? Alright, there. We 
We got this. Come on, come on. Ayo, Ayo. Hell yeah, now that's thinking with lasers. That's thinking with lasers. Portal ain't got shit on this. All right, now let's actually solve that puzzle. Uh, we need to do that. Oh, we need to hit both. Ah, hmm. Clever girl. Cool beans, cool beans. And I saw some QR codes. Um, uh, where were they? Where were they? Oh, I can't, I, I don't get damaged by the lasers. Hold on. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, Faith again. Whenever I despair, I remind myself that at the end of this great pilgrimage lies life in eternal harmony of the designer. I need no further motivation. A lifetime spent solving the puzzles in this place would be one which missed everything of value in it. But we must remember that others will tread this path, and we must leave it better signposted than when we found it. Wow, 17, only 5 deaths so far. They, uh... They're fucking cracked gamer. They seem to be going along the thought lines of, um, they don't really know why they're doing this, but they're taking solace in making the path they tread easier for those that come after them. I do think that is a very noble and human thing to do. Was there a QR code? I thought I saw one. I don't know what that one red dot is, and it's starting to bug me. Oh, here's a QR code. Uh, she... This female voice that speaks from the abnormalities, it speaks with a different tone to the other wretches in this place. Huh. So, time capsule? That's uh, certainly a, a way to look at it. Hmm. Hmm.
know if I jump down, I will probably die. I feel like you don't have these giant areas without there being a secret somewhere. It's gotta be something. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what instrument that is, but yes. Give me more of that. Oh man, that is that is some vibrato. Hell yeah, kill it. What do we got, computer? Captain's log. Shit's fucked. Hi, all. Everything's been moved to the L facility. I know it's been sad to leave the good old Jeff building behind, but it makes sense for us to be on site, especially as there may be severe power outages in the coming weeks. Our Katie's team are already working on... more hexadecimal... So four C, four nine, four E, forty four, fifty three, twenty, forty one, slash run twenty, fifty seven, forty one, fifty nine. But you really don't need to worry about the teams getting in each other's way. The facility is genuinely humongous. Now let's get this show on the road. All right. Copy paste. What do we got here? Fucking face is not hex. There's an extra space in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this really? Is this really? No. No, 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 no. Life finds a way. Okay, dude. It's fucking Ian Building, Jeff Goldblum, Jurassic Park. Uh, life finds a way. Uh, mail error. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert blank, find a solution. I believe that Blank. Preserve the non-biological components of blank. Not in terms of blank immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment, but the short version is blank. Global undertaking blank. Alright. This one is a lot of hexadecimal, so... I'm going to kick the ad back while I copy everything over. I did not remember this game having so many hexadecimal little funny business things going on, and I do like translating them, but it is slightly tedious in that it they come in like regular batches but like I don't want to put the TVs off like I like interacting with the terminal TVs I like interacting with the terminals like as we run into them so we get little little story tidbits and world building um, intermixed, interspersed with the puzzling segments, 
rather than all batches at their lonesome. But it does interrupt gameplay from having to constantly context shift back and forth. So there's a bit of a pros and cons to the pros consuming me. <laughs> a little bit of a word play there. I feel like at some point I should start automatically memorizing what characters correspond to what letters because I believe all of them are just capital um a through Z. Because, like, I'm seeing a lot of repeats of, you know, like, 65, 6E, 20. So, what else is this? 65, 20, 66, 70, 72, 60, 65, 72, 20, 73. Break. 68, 71, 60, C, 60, C, 20, 60, 6, F. Floor is on 6F. Take your key, sir. Your hotel room should be furnished. If you would like any refreshments, call hospitality. Who is open from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Shit, where, where is my last number? Okay, 65, 20. Okay. 72, 65, 60, 65, 60, 62, 65, 72, 65, 64, 2, C, 20, 6, E, 6, F, 72, break. 20, 63, 6, F, 60, 65, 20, 69, 6, E, 74, 6, F, 26, D, 69, 6, E, 64, 2, E. All right, hexadecimal. What do we got? All right. Behold, I create a new heaven. For behold, hold on. for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. It's kind of repeating itself. And the former shall not be remembered, nor come in. Oop, extra space. Whoops, my line break. Shall not be. I wonder if it's talking about should not be remembered. Hmm. Or remembered or come to nor come to much. So So we have Behold I create new heaven and then it immediately goes into, for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come in, the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. So there's a little bit of scrambling into it. Interesting. Let me get beginnings.txt. It is the grave error of many philosophers, not only of the Athenian schools, but also of many others, 
that they begin not with the observation of the cosmos as it surrounds us, but with a conclusion already in mind. And often that conclusion is that the world was created ideal, and mankind itself the greatest creation of the gods. Yet neither the world nor the gods owe mankind perfection. It is arrogance itself to presume so, and contrary to all the methods of philosophy, the honest philosopher seeks only the truth, even if it bears no comfort. And he must begin by assuming, as Socrates said, that all he knows is that he knows nothing. All right, and our last bit of hexadecimal for tonight. I might see if I can get a resource with these pre-translated, and then I can have it to the side and access as needed. It's like I don't remember all of the lore bits that come from the terminals. I do want to get them. I don't want to like spoil myself. The unexamined life is not worth living. Hmm. Never heard that phrase before. Interesting. All right, let's go ununlock the boxes. Uh, mm. There we go. Ah, thank you for the boop, Aurora. We have unlocked the companion cubes. No problem. Thanks for stopping on by. Alright. Um, one last fucking check. Is there like a box now I can use? Is there a box that will let me parkour over the wall? I can't fucking stop thinking of this stupid fucking door right here. I know, I know the, 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 um, the bonus star has to be behind there. But I don't know if, like, I need a key that's hidden. Or if I, like, again, like, a bot that, that, Box unlock spawned a box I can now use to jump over, and there's like a key inside the area. I just do not know. I do not know. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no, no. Ah, right, this guy again. But I'm not seeing a little bit. I'm not seeing anything new to find. All of it has been explored. Where, therefore, can I find something new? Kind of weird talking to himself, but you know, whatever you do, you bro. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, uh, not seeing a box, not seeing no keys.
has to be in the overworld because the purple doors destroy whatever I walk through. Hmm. Oh, where will when? All right. It's not like I can take anything out to mess with either. 